Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial. So this tutorial is going to wrap your mind around a whole lot of hotkey uh, guides. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and show you a good group of 30 new hotkeys for Windows 8. These hotkeys allow you to go ahead and save time quickly by accessing menus and perform performing different tasks, which take more time when done with the mouse or even if you don't have a mouse. Now, what's going to happen is I'm just going to go ahead and show you just about about 30 uh, and we'll go ahead and get started. So uh, with my first tutorial or guide, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to print the screen. So with your Windows hotkey, you want to go ahead and press Windows and then the print screen and that's going to flicker a bit. Now, where to find this right here is going to be in your Windows Pictures folder. And under where the folder was created under Screenshots, you want to go ahead and click here and then click on here. And then where, there we have it. We have our screenshot. Now, the next one will be Windows C, which opens the charm bar. So that opens up. Uh, next one is Windows Tab, which opens up the switch list. And the next one is Windows Q, which opens the open global search, which is right here. And that allows you to go and search what, whatever you want. Now, the next one would be the Windows W, which allows you to go ahead and search within the system settings. It allows you to go ahead and search directly within the system settings. And that's that. The next one would be Windows F. And that allows you to go ahead and search within files and allows you to go ahead and search directly within files. The next one would be Windows Z, and that gives you the option to access options of Metro apps and can also be accessed by right-clicking on empty spaces. And I believe you have to be in the Windows, uh, so Windows Z, I believe. There we have it. It pops up right there. We click that. Uh, the next one would be Windows I, and that opens settings in the menu, Windows I. There we have it. And our other one, which would be Windows P, that opens a second screen projector settings for dual monitor setup. So if we were to go ahead and press Windows P, we have here PC only, duplicate, extend, and second screen only. And this would be more ideal for dual monitors. So if you have another monitor next to your laptop, it would be ideal. All right, our next one is Windows H. And what that does, it goes to the share settings pane and it lists share options and relative to the currently uh, things that you have on your share. And currently I don't have anything like that. So our next one is Windows K and that opens up device settings pane right here. So we don't have anything like that. So if you do have something on the second screen, you can go and take advantage of that. Our next one is Windows X and that's more convenient for a lot of people. And if we were to go over here, that opens the system utilities settings menu at the bottom left corner. So our next one would be Windows T. And what that does, it allows you to go ahead and preview open windows in the taskbar. And it brings up the Windows thumbnail from the taskbar. So if I would have this and this, and they were to be perhaps minimized, I'm going to go ahead and press Windows T again. And there we have it. As you can see, by pressing the T, holding down on the Windows key and pressing T constantly, you get to go ahead and see previews. Windows U opens Ease of Access Center. So Windows plus U. Always scan this section. And there we have the Ease of Access Center. Now we are going to go ahead and move on to Windows E, which would open the Windows Explorer. And there we have it. And Windows R would run the a dialog box right here, which is very important. Uh, Windows Pause, which should be located on your keyboard, opens System Properties a window right here. Here we have it. Now, Windows plus Enter opens the Windows Narrator. I believe Win that'll pop start up. Start menu, Windows, Windows msn.com, Windows, Windows Internet, Internet Explorer window. window. And Windows there we have it, Narrator settings. Link, exit, exit Narrator dialog. dialog. Yes, yeah, so you want to get a Narrator. So our next one would be Windows Shift dot. So you want to go ahead and press Windows Shift dot. And what that does, it snaps the application to the right side or toggles between the right side and the left side. So as you can see here, we can go ahead and get that to the right side or the left side, then to the right side. That's pretty convenient. Our next one is Windows dot or period. And what that does, it snaps the application to the left side, I believe, or to the right side. It really doesn't matter. 
Or if I were to go ahead and press Windows comma, which is right next to the period, we can go ahead and peek at the desktop. So if I were to go ahead and have two applications open and I were to go ahead and press Windows key comma, I can go ahead and peek at the desktop. Now, if I were to go ahead and press Windows key, then D, I were to go to the desktop and everything would be minimized. And if I were to go ahead and press Windows M, everything would be minimized actually. So our next one is Windows J. So if we were inside our desktop and we wanted to go ahead and focus our main thing on the Metro app on the side, all we have to do is press Windows J and there we can go ahead and scroll and you know interact with the Metro app. The next one is Windows lock screen which just basically goes back to the Windows lock screen. So I'm not going to go up to that. Now the Windows page up and the Windows page down should be by your numeral keyboard if you have one. If I were to go ahead and press Windows page up and Windows page down, it usually switches to the primary and secondary monitors. This would be ideal for those dual monitors. Now the control mouse scroll. So if you were to go ahead and press control, then your mouse scroll, which would be either the middle mouse or your scroll options with your two fingers. You can zoom really quickly. Our next thing is control shift N. So control shift N and what that does, it creates a new folder in the current directory. There we have it. And yeah, so that's just about it on the ultimate guide on the Windows hotkeys. So if you guys do like this video, go ahead and thumbs up and take advantage of the hotkeys because for those that don't like the Metro app and they want to go ahead and move around, it would be more ideal to go ahead and use the hotkeys. And until next time, see you later guys. This is Flippin' Windows and out.